Wearable technology is changing the fitness world with promises of tracking your heart rate. More than 17 million devices are expected to be sold this year. That number could jump to 23 million next year and 45 million by 2017. Sharon Profis is a senior associate editor with our partners at CNET. She launched her own investigation investigation to see which ones work. Good morning to you, Sharon. Good morning. So why did you decide you want to launch your own investigation? You're not wearing any of that stuff now. I'm not right now, uh, but by the end of this experiment, I think I know which one I will wear. <laughs> Good for you. So we know that in the first quarter of this year, 2.7 million of these devices were shipped, and that number is only expected to increase over the years. And instead of just being pedometers or sleep trackers, they're becoming more specialized. Now they're doing things like uh, monitoring your heart rate mm -hmm. or in some cases monitoring your blood oxygen level so things that you would normally do at a doctor now you can probably you can do, do from yourself your let's yes. start with the samsung gear fit how did how did uh, that work out so the gear fit uses an optical sensor that reads your heart rate from your wrist from the capillaries in your wrist at rest it was actually quite accurate averaging 80 when my ekg at the doctor said 80 but where it hit some trouble was when i had an accelerated heart rate so just as background, most of these devices, you need to be completely stopped in order to get your heart rate. They're not continuous like most chest, strap, chest straps are. Mm -hmm. So at an accelerated heart rate, this said 73, the EKG said 178. So it couldn't keep up with that. Wow, that's interesting. Then we have the basis carbon steel. This also does step tracking, pedometer, uh, and it also uses the optical sensor that the Gear Fit does. Like that one though, it's at rest, it was close with 73 on the band and 80 on the EKG. But once I hit uh, 138 on the EKG, it only read 78. Mm. So it, it wasn't accurate. The accuracy is about 40 to 50 percent there. What about the Garmin Vivo Fit? So the Vivo Fit is Vivo interesting fit. because it it's a chest strap. It's the same technology yeah. that we've had for the past 20 or so years. So the band is really only used to read your heart rate, just like a wristwatch would be. And it was dead Ooh. on. At rest, <laughs> it, it wasn't as accurate, but once <clears throat> you had the chest strap on and I was running, it was just right on beat with the EKG. I, I know, and I know my husband uses too, the chest straps always seem to be the most accurate. And, and that's probably because they really emulate the way an EKG works. They read the electrical mm -hmm. signals that trigger your heartbeat. Mm -hmm. But the most surprising one, and really I just threw this one in there, I, I, you know, most people threw away the Samsung Galaxy S5's heart rate as, heart rate monitor as a gimmick. But really it's quite accurate. And it, you just put your finger over the sensor here, mm -hmm. and it, once you activate it, it takes a few seconds, and it gives you your heart rate at rest and at an accelerated heart rate. It was dead on. Mm, so that's wow. that's like a ding 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 winner. And you tested them all with a doctor. I so did. You went to a doctor. Yeah, and what he explained is that the capillaries in your wrist, by the time your blood gets there, it's already slowed down to a point where it might not be in line with your actual heart rate. Whereas the the vessel in your fingertip is arterial, so it's a direct line to your heart. And actually, if you hold your finger up to this part right here, you can actually feel your heartbeat. So here's an interesting question, though. Lots of wearable devices. How many people, though, want their heart rate as part of a wearable device? Is that going to be necessary? Well, what we know is that these devices need a way to differentiate themselves. There are so many devices that do the same thing that when it comes down to it, if all of them do the same thing and this one device does heart rate, it's likely that a customer will choose that device, will favor it over the others. Sharon, thank you. Thank you. Sharon Profis.